Welcome to Sports Tracks. Before we get into today's video, if you haven't already, we do appreciate it if you would like the video and subscribe to our channel so you never miss out on our interesting and latest sports videos. Now, let's get right into it. Set back in 2018 when she won the title in a race where Elaine Thompson here missed the podium and came fourth. That could be under threat here this evening. And there she is. The Jamaican will start in lane number seven behind Miller Weebo, Sharika Jackson and Dina Asher Smith four years ago. The five-time Olympic gold medalist for Jamaica will start in lane number seven. A teammate in five. And once again, lanes two to nine will be occupied. And Thompson here wants the double. She won the 100, and now she wants the 200 meter title tonight. Natasha McDonald of Canada will start in lane number nine, second in her semi-final. 23.21 seconds this season. In lane number eight, Ella Connolly of Australia, fourth at the World Junior Championships over 400 meters four years ago. Under 23 seconds this year. There'll be a huge roar for the athlete in seven. Elaine Thompson here. Second fastest woman of all time over 100. The third fastest of all time over 200. Favor Ophili of Nigeria, their national record holder, the 19-year-old, will start in lane number six. Natalia White of Jamaica will start in five, eight in the 100 meter final here, fourth at the Jamaican National Championships this year over this distance. Christine Mbama from Namibia, the 19 year old national record holder, has had her injury problems this year, but she's back, she's in this final and starts in four. Beth Dobbin of Scotland. semi-finalist in the Olympics last year, the Scottish record holder, 22.5 at her best. And completing the lineup from the Gambia, Gina Bass, just outside 23 seconds in qualifying. She starts in lane number two. So the final track action on this Saturday night, Bass, Dobbin and Bomber White. Ophili Thompson here, there she is. Connolly and McDonald. She won the 100 metres in 10.95 seconds. That was her first individual Commonwealth Games medal. The athlete that's done the double double, the 1 and 200 metres at two Olympics in a row, is aiming to win the 200 metre title here. shouts from fans around the crowd. But a clean start. Thompson here has gone out nicely in lane number seven. She's took the stagger from Connolly outside of her. She's eating it up, the Jamaican. Thompson here into the home straight. Ophelia, the Nigerian in second in the lane inside of her. And Bomber's going to get the bronze. Keep your eye on the clock. 22.02 seconds. I thought it was under threat, and she's taken the game's record off Shawnate Miller Weibo. A plus 0.6 meter wind. It was brilliant from Elaine Thompson here, and now she's the double Commonwealth champion. She got exactly what she wanted here in Birmingham. Ophili picks up the silver and Bomber the bronze. Both games' records have gone in the 200 meters. Steph leaping on the track. Well, something about running at night here, um, it's just been magical. And, and do you know what? It really, it wasn't that dramatic in the end. It, it pretty much went to script. Elaine made her presence known on the bend and, and the race really was in the end for, for the silver and the bronze. And I'm just so pleased for her. You know, perhaps she didn't have the championships that she wanted in Eugene, but she has come back and she has finished her season on her terms. You can see her third from the left in the screen. And you can, I mean, just in those first 20 meters, her stall was set out. The moment she was gone around that bend, no one was gonna catch her. But the interesting battle was happening at the back as Christine Mbama was 
we didn't really know what she was going to do. As you say, she was coming back from injury. Her very first 200, really, that we'd seen her in was, was in the heat. But Faber Ophelia managed to hold her off for that silver medal. It was a huge win in the end. Such is the class of Elaine Thompson here. Up. And it means a lot for an athlete that has everything. A house just sparkles of pure gold back in Jamaica. And as we said at the start of tonight's broadcast, Jamaican Independence Day today, and they've had a storming session here again in Birmingham. It was never in doubt, as you say, Steph. She went round the bend. She held a form wonderfully well. At her best, 21.53, but 22.02 tonight and the gold medal. And I love that she's been so honest in her intention all the time. I want to be the greatest sprinter of, of all time. Confirmation then on our final track race here on Saturday night. Elaine Thompson here does the double over the one and 200 meters, a games record at 22.02 seconds.